so this is the finished owner's table. Okay. That's a zero there. <laughs> Calvin. Bennett. And then I will go ahead and have the rest of the data. Okay, I messed up on Calvin Bennett's number here. I gotta make a BO2. So no, you can't say this. Okay. BO2, Calvin Bennett. And then this phone number. Yeah, sure. Anyway, I'll enter the rest. So this is the table with all the data in it. Checking my data. Sure, I spelled everything right. So do that. Close, save. Now, double click the veterinarian field to add a field to the query. Okay. This is from an appointment, so I need to open up the queries. And I need to add fields to this query. So I'm going to go to create, query from design. You need to have the appointments table. Bring this down. I need to add a veterinarian. Appointment date, appointment time, patient ID, treatment number, and owner. I'll close this so you can see those. So then we'll go on to veteran appointment date. So this AC 2 7 to add fields to design. Now running the query. So I go back up here and run this, and mine looks like this. Oh, I need to go back in design, 
And down here under veterinarian, I need to enter the one for criteria. It's G01. Now I run that, and I get one result for Dr. Gomez. Click the Save button. This pops up. I need to name this. Little M02. Q01. Click OK. Save the query and close the query. And I have a query over here. M20-1. Now, use a wildcard. So open the owner's query. When I do that, click Query Design Owner Street. I have a problem. Let me figure out what's going on. Open this query. Click the criteria row for the veterinarian field. G01. Okay, so click okay, save it. Open the owner's query. Use a wall card. So owner state. Let me minimize this. Get over here to owner state. Go back and design. Owner state criteria. And then I'm going to put capital U asterisk. On that, I'll get all of Utah's. It's like the bottom of the page, 2 10. <coughs> now, once I do that, run the query, click the run button. Now, change the U to a lowercase and run it. So I go back to design, go little u, asterisk, run it. So we get the same thing. Lowercase in the criteria, query to determine which of the case doesn't make a difference. I click File, Backstage, Save As, Save Object As, click the Save Object As button. When this pops up, I'm going to type little m 2 q 2 I am going to copy this so I can paste it each time. So I hit Control C just to copy that name. So I save that. And I close that. So right now I should have two queries: M1, M2, and still have the owner's query there. Do not query. I now go open the owner's query again in Design View. So I'm in this view. So I close my navigation window. So now they want me to go down here and type 813 as a criterion for owner's postal code. So I'm going to put 8. 13 asterisk and run that. I should get all the ones with 813, which is shown over on the next page. Yeah. Run the query, click the view button to do and enter a different postal code. That's the experiment, so I'm not going to do that. Now, following steps create a parameter query. So now, they didn't tell me to close this or save this. So after I do this, click the show, check the show box. Phone number, run the query, click the view button to return design, try different things, repeat the additionals, blah, 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 without saving the changes. So close this with remove the postal code field and then close this query. So when I close this, don't save the changes. So I say no. Okay, now I'm going to open the owner's query again. Minimize. Now I'm going to click criteria cell for owner state and enter CO. So I go into design. Okay, had to help a student. She still had the zip code in here. You make sure that's not there. And then we go over to this owner state. And in this owner state, we're going to put a bracket. Don't hold down the shift key. It's got to be that bracket. And we're going to type the follow. So we'll type enter CO for Colorado. Make sure I spell Colorado right. O or UT for Uh, click the run button. So I get this here, and then we're going to type CO. Say OK, and we get the Colorado ones. Okay, click follow the rib backstage. Click Save As. So I'm going to go File, Save As, Save Object As, Save As. When this pops up, I've copied that, so I'm going to paste this in. So it's going to be MO2Q. 
Save object as selected with a file type as the oop, type owner state. So this one is going to be so it's going to be owner dash state. Be right there. Query. Okay. Okay. So once we do this, we close this owner state query. There's no spaces in there. So we close that. So now I have owner state query over here. Okay, now I need to open this navigation pane. So it's opened up. Right click owner state query. So after this, and then I go to menu to open the query. Okay, and now I'm going to enter the parameter value dialog box. And for this one, we're going to put UT to make sure it works. Doesn't matter whether it's capitalized or not. And I see that I get the same records in the book. So then, close the navigation pane. Now click the create on the ribbon display create table. So this is for treatment costs. So I'm done with this. I close this query. Open this navigation pane. Okay. Oh, this is a new query. So I go to create query from design. And in this one, I need the treatment cost. Close that. So that's four records. I have treatment number. Is that it? So it goes in there. Treatment. Oops, twice. I need to delete this one. So I just click there and delete it. Animal type. And then cost. Okay, so I have the four in the parameters. They remove the dialog, drag the lower edge of the field list down far enough to all the fields, include the treatment, type 25 for the criterion and the cost. Now I run that. Hopefully I get three records. So that worked. Now I'm going to save this. I go file, save object as. Save as, save object as, save as. This one I can do my paste. MO2Q03. Say OK. And then I can close the query. Now I need some comparator operators. So in this one. I'm going to create a new query of appointments. So I go create, query from design, put appointments in there. Close that. Make sure I can see all the fields. And for this one, I need appointment date, appointment time, treatment number, veterinarian, and patient ID. Checking these appointment date, appointment date, appointment time, treatment number, veterinarian, patient ID looks good to me. So I run this query. I got way more records, so I missed something. So I go back in design. Down here under date, I was supposed to put greater than six slash thirty slash. 2021. Now I run that. And I get two records just like it shows in the book. So I go file save as, save object as, go in here, paste in my MO2Q, and then I enter 04 to rename this. Say OK. So now I can close this query. Go over here. Now, start a new query using the appointments table. So, i got to go create a new query. Use the appointments table. Close this. Okay, and this one, I'm going to have appointments date again. I need to have appointment time again. Treatment number. And owner. Minimize my navigation means so appointment date, appointment time, treatment number, veterinarian, owner. Okay, now as the criterion and the appointment date. So down here, I'm going to have greater than 06 slash 30 slash. 2021. I'm using my numeric keypad for the slashes and numbers. Everything goes on the numeric keypad. Now, type B01 veterinarian field. So, capital 
P01. Wouldn't matter if it was capital or not. We've learned that. Okay, once I put them two in, I run the query. I get one record, which is cool. Go file, save object as. Paste in my name and put 05. Okay. Now I'm using a compound query. So now, with this still open, nope. Turn design view, click the criterion tree for appointment date field. Okay, so I'm going to use the same query, so I go to design view, and click the share appointment date field, and then enter 6321. I don't have to do that because I already had it there. Click the row below the criteria for veterinary field and delete any text. So I get rid of this. And now I'm going down to the OR field, and I'm entering the B. Zero 01. So I'm moving down to the OR field here. So this will give me that or that. When I run that, I get four records, and that's what the book shows. And I'm going to save this as two. So I'll save as object as. Paste in my name and put 06. This one. Okay. Now, next page. To clear design deals. So with this one open, Go back into design field, appointment date column, heading the grid to select the column, press and hold shift, and press delete, close the query without saving these changes. So when I do this, what I do is click here, hold down my shift key, click here, and when I hit delete, it wipes everything out. So close shift, but we're just going to close the query without saving that, so we don't need to do anything. No, do not save that. Now we're going to import a table. So we need to click from database. So we go to no data, new source, from database, access. I have this in my downloads. I also have it in a K drive. So if you're on college, K, CS110 data files, access, module 2, and that'll be the support bets extra tables. OK. When I do this, import tables, click OK to import objects, select the veterinarian vendor's table. So I'm import tables, import data source. So I'm going to say OK. I have no tables in there. I have to go to tables here. Veterinary vendors, so I have to make sure on tables. Say OK. Now am I saving the steps? So once it pops up, click close, current veterinary tables list in navigation pane. So I say close. And when I go to navigation team, I have the veterinary vendors table here, and I can open up and look at it. So it is in there, checking the data. Looks good to me, so I close that. Now, I create a new barrier on treatment costs. So I go up here, create, create design, I need treatment cost. Close that. So I have the four in there. And I create a new query. So I come down here, and I need treatment and cost. But how much sort this? So when I do this, I need to hit the sort arrow, click the sort or the, the cost field column, click here, and sort the row cost and click, click the row display possible, sending. Okay, run the query. So it's from the smallest to the biggest. File save as. Save object as, save as. Once again, control. Paste that in, and this will be 07. Okay. And then return the design view, change the sort order. So if I want to, I could did this sort of smallest to largest, largest, smallest, doesn't matter. So that's just plain with it. I'm going to put it back to the smallest. So now once I do that, to admit duplicates, I need to go back to design view. Now what I'm going to do is go to the treatment field over here. So treatment field. Click the design view button to return design view in the design grid. Click just above treatment field. Just select the field and then click delete to remove that field. So now I only have cost. Click the second field. This empty field over here. Design grid to produce insertion point. Click the design ribbon, display the design tab. Design ribbon. Click the property sheet. So I go over here. 
Group Property Sheet. And then Group Show Hide. Click the Property Sheet. Create Design Show Hide. Just click the Property Sheet. Click the Unique Values. So unique Values right here. I want it to be Yes. So I'm changing that to a Yes. To indicate the deal. Now close the Query Properties. Now run the Query. So I only have single class, like the book, save and close. So I'm not going to name anything. I just save, yes. Okay, create a new query. So once again, create query for design. This time it's going to be on treatment cost. Close. That goes in there. Treatment number. Treatment animal type. And cost. I need these to be ascending. No matter which order I pick. So select sending for the sort order for both animal type field and cost field. So now run the query. Mine looks just like the books. So da da experiment. I always skip the experiment to deal. Now save the query. So file save object as. Paste in my name and it's going to be 08. Turn Design View, click the ribbon, so I go back in Design View. Yes, sorry, click Design View. Okay, click the Return Arrow Queries. Okay, so I need to come up here in this Return Arrow down here. And I want, sorry, click Design View, click the Return Arrow to Query to select Display, click 5 in the Return. So give me 5 to specify the field, run the query. Me those to display only the first five records. Save the queries at M29. File save as. as. Paste in my name and put 09. Okay, now I can close that query. To join tables, so click the Create Design button. So create, Create Design. And I need to add two tables, appointments. Okay. And then if necessary, click Add button to show the table to add the field list appointments. Click the Treatment Cost table. Okay, I've added them too, so now I'm going to close this. There's a line between them. Bring this down to make sure. Expand the size of the two fields list. All the fields and appointment are both shown. Now in Design Grid, include the appointment data field from appointment. So I need an appointment. Treatment cost. Treatment cost. Where am I getting treatment cost? Treatment. That's treatment from treatment cost. And then animal type. And then to straight cost. So I have appointment date from appointment. That's treatment, treatment cost. Animal type treatment and cost. Run the query. Once again, it's just like the book, so click the Save button on the Aspects bar. Okay, so I go File, Save As. And when this pops up, uh, no, it's not here. All I do is click the Save button. That's what I should have hit. And then I can type Point. That's spelled right. Okay. So it's named right. Click Save dialog box. Now to change. Return to design view. Right click the join line. So it'll be right on line. I left click it to make sure it's dark and then go to join properties. In the join properties, options will include records and treatment cost. So we want number three. They have selected. Say OK. So click the option 3 button to join. Click OK. Run the query. Once again, mine looks like the book. So click the Save button on the Quick S to save the changes. Go up here and click the Save. And close that. Now to create a report. Open Navigation Pane. I have Navigation Pane open. Select Appointments and Treatment Queries. 
like that. Click Create on the ribbon. Click the Report Ribbon button. Okay, so that looks just like the books. Okay, so then click Add All Fields button. Now click Next. Here, because you will not specify any grouping, just click Next again. Because you already specified sort order in the query, you don't have to do that. So click Next. Make sure Tabular Layout and Portrait Orientation. So I hit Next. And make sure it's Appointment Treatments Report. So I have to add Report. Add Report there. Click the Finish button. Mine looks like the books. So close the appointment treatments report. Now with the appointment treatment report select the navigation pane, click file, print tab, click quick print report. We're not going to do that. We skip all printing. So now we're in creative forms. So necessary to select the appointments treatment query. I have it selected. Click create. Okay, and then click form. So mine looks like appointments and treatments form. Just like the book, click the Save button, and this pops up. Enter form at the end. Okay, and close. Okay, is this ever going to end? Now to export. You can skip the whole export part. When you go up here to External Data and you export it to Excel, it doesn't matter where you put it. I'm just going to throw it out here in Documents. Save. Okay. Don't worry about it. Doesn't matter. They're not going to grade that. So, just hit the close button. Click save export. Save export. So I skipped all that. Join. Okay. Restrict records and it joins. So I need to open the navigation pane. Design view for the appointments treatment query. So I'm just going to right click in design view. Close this. Type greater than ten for the cost field. Run the query. I have the same records the book has. Close the query. When you're asked to save, say no. Make sure you say no. Okay, to use a calculated field. So now right click the field row, the first open design view. So I'm opening the veterinarian. Create a query. Create query from design. And I want the vet vendor's table. What? Create a query with a field list for the veterinary vendors. Vendors table. There we go. Okay. So I close this. And I need to add name. So it wants the vendor's name. State. Veterinary supply. Quantity. Cost fields. Okay, to the query. Go over and check. Mine looks just like there. So once I do that, right click the field row in the first open columns. So over here, I right click to get totals to pop up. And I want to go down to zoom. And this box pops up. I am going to type total cost colon space bracket quantity. Bracket, cost, bracket. So that's exactly right. So now I can hit the OK. Puts that field in. So if I run this query, I have total cost over here, just like they have. They told me to experiment, play with it. I'm not going to do that. Return to design view. Necessary. Click the Quantity Field and Design Grid. Quantity Field and Design Grid. Click the Properties. Property Sheet button. So right here is the Property Sheet button. Pops that open. Click the Caption box. Vendor Quantity. OK. 
Okay. So that's fine. Now click the cost field in design grid. Cost field. Caption box. Vendor cost. So I need this vendor cost. Okay. Close the property sheet. Close the query. Save it, yes. Paste it in, and this would be number 10. Okay. Let me pause there and help. Okay, so I'll make sure I've got M210 I just saved. So now I'm on the one where it says create a new query field list vent veterinary vendors table. So create query from design. I need veterinary vendors in. And then tools button query to show include total row in the design grid. So once I close this, I hit the totals button. Okay, then I add cost. So I have to pull this down, make sure I can see cost. Now click the total row. So down here in the total row. And I want to pick <coughs> average. Nope, wrong one. Average. Run the query. So I get the same number they have. Return to design grid. Now include vendor name field. So I add the vendor name field to this. Put the total row in the vendor name field. Vendor name field to produce total list. Click where to be able to enter criteria. So I have to scroll down here to where. And then type down in the criteria. Capital S A N asterisk. So I'm looking up. Oop. N. Asterisk. So I'm looking for all the SAN. Start with SAN. Run this query. So I get 875, and I save this, so this is a brand new query, so I can just hit the save button, paste in my name, and put 11. Okay, so that one's done. Now I return back to design grid, include veterinary name field, I have veterinary name field, so I need a cost field query. Return design grid, oh, clear the grid. In here, I write this. I have the control key pressed, and I can do. Oh, maybe I can't do a control key. Let me try the shift. So I just highlight them two and delete it out. Okay. So I want to make sure because I just saved those levels. So now I'm going to go in here and put the vendor's name first, then the cost. Okay. And then I want this to be average and key in. I could just switch them around, move them around. I didn't have to clear the grid. Cost was select the average total row. Now I'm going to run the query. I have what the book have. So I'm save this as M12. So I have to be careful. File, save as. I can't go up there and hit the save button, save object as. Save as. Control paste and name this 12. So now I can close this query. Now, to create a cross tab, so I go to create, and I'm going to go up here to query wizard. So this time I'm using query wizard. I'm going to create a cross tab query. Okay. And this pops up. Mine looks like, oops, I got the wrong table. I want table, veterinarian, vendors. Okay. So mine now looks like that. So cross tab query, click OK. Click the tables option button, select veterinary vendors, select veterinary vendors, then click the next button. Okay, so click the state field. I send that across. And then click the add field to button to select the state field. Did that. Click the next button. Okay, then now I'm going to click the vendor's name. That in so they come up here and it looks just like the book. So I say next. Now, once I click the next, then click the cost field and I want the cost to be a sum. So I click that and now I can click next. Now, up here in the name, I need to go to cross tab if necessary, erase the text of the name and veterinary vendors under tab. Veterinary vendors under. Uh, cross tab's the right name. 
press do so by your instructor. Do not worry about rechanging that as your last name. Click the finish button. And now I want to look at the book to make sure. Because they show me what theirs looks like, but that's what I got. So anyway, now with that done, I close that. And I am finished, I think. Navigation windows look different. Navigate to deal. Check them all. If you go back to the very first, and it shows you how to search, but if you go back to the very first of this project, it shows you ones you have. And these are all the ones I should have. So I'm going to close that. Always close it. Go to Mind Tap. I'll have to go in here and make sure I have the right assignment open. So I come down here to CM Project 2. Project 2. So I'll have the same name. You have to be careful to turn this in the right spot. And I'm going to go to Upload. So I come into my name. So it's Jerry Sampson. I built an Access Chapter 2. Upload that so I will get the right one. So that's the name. So submit. Now, when I go look at this, give me a report. It'll take forever to grade. There's a lot of queries in there. Hopefully I did everything right. Big score, big score, no whammies. Come on. And sometimes this time's out, you'll have to resubmit it again. You can close it, go back in, redo it again. Finally, it give it to me. If you're at home, you're on a slow internet. When I open this up, pops open here. So I enable it. And I know I did probably have to do that by coming down to grading report. I got 100 out of 100. Yippee. Great day in the neighborhood. So good luck on this set.